In this video you will get a glimpse at our recent research about magnetic materials in an easy to understand way. I'm Marie-Therese Hübsch of Professor Arita's group at the University of Tokyo. Before we dive in, you may ask why magnets are interesting. Well, we often think of ferromagnets when we speak of magnets. But more generally, magnets are all materials where the magnetic moments carried by electrons align with each other. In other words, they have a long-range magnetic order. Depending on this order, magnets can have very useful applications. One material that has attracted attention due to its magnetic order is manganese tin, which shows several large anomalous effects. Such magnets may find promising applications in our lives. For instance, a material with a large anomalous Nernst effect can be used to generate electric power due to a heat difference and thus serve as a green energy source. Additionally, so-called antiferromagnetic domain walls can flip at high speed, which opens the door for ultra-fast pentronics. What's more, these complicated magnetic structures are very robust against any disturbance from their environment, which might be useful for new kinds of data retention. So you see, there is a lot of potential, but we need to explore the chemical space in order to find the best materials for each application. There are computational methods to predict what materials will be like before even trying to synthesize them in the laboratory. They are called ab initio techniques and are available as software packages, while still being heavily developed in the scientific community. The package we used is the very powerful Vienna Ab initio Simulation Package, or VASP for short. A key issue to get a good prediction from such a calculation is to choose a good starting point that is already close to the true ground state. For magnetic structures with their many variables, that had been too big of an issue. How could we generate a list of possible magnetic structures when all the magnetic moments can be rotated in any direction? To tackle this issue, we took a new approach. We create a list of magnetic structures based on combinations of special functions defined on a sphere, but adapted to the symmetry of the material. This is an analogy to how atomic orbitals are constructed. The idea is that all common magnetic structures are based on few special ones, like the magnetic dipole, quadrupole, octopole and so on. This expansion is called cluster multipole expansion, because always a cluster of magnetic moments is seen as one configuration forming a multipole. To test our idea, we have performed a high throughput benchmark calculation with close to 3000 possible magnetic structures for 131 materials and found many stable and metastable magnetic structures. To judge whether our predictions are any good, we compare our calculations to the golden standard, the experiment. Because ultimately our aim is not just to reproduce, but to predict the experimental results. The details of our benchmark are published in the latest volume of Physical Review X, but in a nutshell, we can say the following. Our approach to combine the cluster multiple theory with ab initio calculations can substantially narrow down which magnetic structure we expect to find in an experiment. Another compelling observation is that we can predict the size of the on-site magnetic moment. Here you see the experimental magnetic moment on the horizontal axis and the theoretical magnetic moment on the vertical axis. If all data points were to align on the black line, the prediction would be perfect. While the prediction could be better in some cases, there is no systematic over or underestimation. This suggests that the underlying mechanism is well captured and only the precision needs to be improved. After this successful benchmark with known materials, we hope our method can unlock the potential of magnetic material design. And we are excited to now continue our investigations with materials that haven't been synthesized in the lab. Check out the description to get more details. Thank you for watching.